Good morning, Dr. Noor. Are you available in the Zoom right now? Ya, yeah. good morning, Dr. Noor. Hi. Okay, uh, I will start for this class today. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Visiting Lecture with University Malaysia Perlis. Welcome to the Honorable Dr. Noor Azela Zainal Abidin as a Research Fellow Center of Excellence for Social Innovation and Sustainability for the topic today, Digital Economy. Yeah, for Dr. Nor, you can start this class today. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss Novi. Okay, uh, today before we start uh, our discussion about the digital economy, can you hear me? Yes. All right, thank yes. you. Okay, so before uh, we start uh, the discussion about the digital economy, okay, so let me introduce myself first. My name is Dr. Norazla Zaino Abidin. I'm from Faculty of Business and Communication, University of Malaysia, Police, Malaysia. Okay, so um, as you know, okay, uh, the digital economy uh, contributes the significantly to economic growth uh, by driving innovation, uh, creating new business opportunity and increasing productivity. Okay, uh, so it's enable businesses to reach a new market, uh, streamline operation and develop new product and services. Okay, so the digital economy also create uh, employment opportunity across various sectors, uh, including technology, e-commerce, uh, digital marketing, software development, and more. Okay, so this one is the overview of the uh, digital uh, economy. So the... The today agendas, okay, we want to discuss the introduction to the session. Uh, what is the digital economy, okay, the knowledge-based economy, the comparison between the traditional and digital economy. Uh, so uh, we can see what is the advantages and disadvantages of digital economy, education and digital economy, and the knowledge-based uh, digital economy. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, actually, the uh, the digital economy uh, encompasses a broad range of economy activity and transaction uh, that are conducted using the digital uh, technology, data, and connectivity. So it's include various sectors and industry uh, that leverage digital platform, services, and infrastructure to create value uh, exchange good and services and drive the economy growth. So this one, what is the meaning of the uh, digital economy? Okay. Now uh, we want to see the key component of the digital economy, uh, such as uh, we have the e-commerce, Okay, so uh, e-commerce uh, refer to the buying and selling of goods and services over the internet or other electronic network. Okay, so this is the e-commerce. So this includes online uh, retail platform, uh, digital marketplace, and business to consumer, or we call it as the P2C, business to business, B2B, and also Consumer to consumer, C to C, okay? Transaction conducted online. So, this is the uh, e-commerce. And then, the next key component of the digital economy, we have the digital payment, okay? So, digital uh, payment uh, encompass electronic payment method that enable uh, the transfer of the fund between individuals uh, businesses and financial institution electronically. Okay. So uh, the digital payments uh, method includes uh, credit, uh, debit card, mobile wallet, online banking, peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, and crypto. See. Okay. So uh, the digital payment uh, offer convenient, uh, speed and security, and then uh, the facilitating online transaction and enabling financial uh, inclusion. Then uh, the next key component of a uh, digital economy, we have the digital services. Okay, so uh, <laughs> digital uh, services encompass a wide range of online services uh, delivered over the internet, including uh, software as a service, cloud computing, uh, streaming media, uh, digital advertising, online education. Uh, we have a uh, telecommunication services and digital entertainment platform. Okay, and the last key component that we have is a uh, digital platform, okay? So uh, the digital platform, uh, online system or uh, application that facilitate interaction and transaction between user, businesses and other in, uh, entity, okay? For example, uh, include uh, e-commerce platform, for example, uh, Amazon, Alibaba, okay? So the uh, social media, platforms such as uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, okay, right hailing platform, we have the Uber, Grab, okay, and online marketplace, we have the eBay, uh, Shopee, uh, Lazada, so this is the uh, example of the digital platform. So uh, this platform uh, play a central role in connecting buyer and seller, enabling peer-to-peer uh, transaction and facilitating the exchange of goods, services, and information. Okay. So, uh, the overview of the digital economy in Malaysia, for example, uh, uh, I get from uh, the example in Malaysia. Uh, government initiative. So the Malaysia uh, government has launched the various initiatives to promote the uh, digital economy, including the national fibrillation and connectivity plan. Okay, the national e-commerce strategy roadmap and the Malaysia digital economy uh, blueprint, or we call it as the My Digital. Okay, then uh, 
Malaysia. So, uh, introduce their digital infrastructure. Malaysia has been investing in digital uh, infrastructure to improve connectivity across the country. So, this include uh, expanding broadband coverage uh, and then 5G networks and, and uh, enhance digital uh, infrastructure in rural area. Then, uh, the e-commerce sector in Malaysia uh, has experienced significant growth uh, with platform La Lazada, uh, and then uh, Shopee, uh, Zalora gaining popularity among consumer. Okay, uh, like uh, what we see during the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, okay, further accelerate the adoption of e-commerce as more consumers turn to online shopping, okay, during the COVID. And uh, so most of the people uh, turn to the online shopping. And then the uh, digital payment, uh, Malaysia has seen a uh, rise in digital payment adoption driven by initiative such as the National Financial Inclusion Framework and the implementation of instant payment uh, system like uh, Grid Now and FPS. Okay, so if we want to go to the supermarket or any, we can uh, do the, the digital payment to make the payment. Okay. So this one is the example of the digital economy in Malaysia. Okay, we have the e-commerce, uh, digital payment, right handling and food delivery and fintechs. Okay, for example, e-commerce, uh, company like uh, Lazada uh, Malaysia, uh, Shopee Malaysia and Zalora has uh, established a strong uh, presence in the Malaysian e-commerce market, uh, providing uh, the platform for online shopping across uh, various categories, including electronic, uh, facial and uh, grocery. So anything you can buy from the online and then digital payment, uh, mobile uh, payment platform like Crackpay and Boost have gained popularity in Malaysia, offering cashless payment solution for uh, transportation, retail, and online uh, transaction. Okay, so this platform allows user to make payment or transfer money and access various uh, financial services through their mobile device, okay? Using the mobile, you can make the payment. And then uh, in Malaysia, so uh, into the fintechs, okay? Malaysia has seen the emergence of various financial technology set up offering uh, the innovative solution in areas such as uh, digital banking, peer-to-peer -peer lending and investment uh, management. Okay. So the company like find, uh, Funding Society and may have gained transition, uh, traction in the Malaysian market and then catering to uh, the growing demand for alternative financial uh, services. And then uh, right hailing and food delivery, okay, right hailing uh, platform like uh, Grab, and food delivery uh, services like Food Panda and then GrabFood has experienced significant growth in Malaysia, uh, providing convenience, uh, transportation and food delivery option through mobile apps. So you want, uh, if you want uh, to order your food, you can uh, go by the Food Panda and GrabFood. Okay. And then this one is the overview of the digital economy in uh, Indonesia. Okay, so the Indonesia government has launched uh, several initiatives to promote the digital economy, including the uh, Indonesia Broadband Plan, the Making Indonesia 4.0 Roadmap, and the Digital Indonesia 2020 Roadmap. So uh, this initiative aim to uh, improve the digital infrastructure uh, promote digital literacy and support the growth of digital uh, businesses. Okay, uh, Indonesia has been invested 
in digital infrastructure uh, to improve internet access and connectivity across the Ashpego. Okay, Initiative success the project aims to explain uh, broadband connectivity to underserved area. Okay, so the e-commerce sectors in Indonesia has seen significant growth with platform like uh, Tokopedia, okay, Bukalapa, and Shopee leading the market. So the COVID nineteen pandemic further accelerate the adoption of uh, e-commerce. So as more consumers turn to online and shopping. So for the digital payment. Okay, uh, that add up in the Indonesia and uh, the popularity of mobile wallet like GoPay, uh, OVO, and Tana. Okay. So, this one is the uh, example of the digital economy, uh, in Indonesia. Uh, so we have a uh, the first one we have the Gojek. Okay, Gojek is the famous okay in the Indonesia one of the Indonesia most successful uh technology setup. Gojek started as a right hailing service, but has expanded into a super app offering a wide range of services including transportation, uh, food delivery, digital payment, and other on demand services such as um messes and cleaning services okay and then we have the um, tokopedia as one of uh, indonesia leading in uh, e-commerce platform okay so tokopedia enable uh, individuals uh, and in businesses to buy and sell a diverse range of product online so uh, it has played a significant role in, in expanding e-commerce access uh, to Indonesians, uh, particularly in smaller city and rural uh, areas. And then OVO. OVO is a popular uh, digital payments platform in Indonesia. Uh, they offer mobile wallet services for making payment, uh, transferring money, and accessing financial services. So it has a partner with various uh, mission and service provider to offer cashless uh, payment option across different uh, sector. And then the last one, uh, the example is the Traveloka. <laughs> so uh, Traveloka is an Indonesia online uh, travel agency that provides uh, booking services for flight, a hotel and other travel related activities. So it has become uh, uh, one of the largest online travel platform in Southeast Asia. <laughs> so the, the digital economy play a crucial role in uh, modern life. Uh, the first one about the global uh, connectivity, okay? So the digital economy enables uh, people to connect, uh, communicate, and collaborate across vast distance in real time, okay? Uh, so uh, this connectivity has transformed how we conduct business, uh, exchange ideas, and interact with each other on a global scale. Okay. Uh, the second one, economic growth. Okay. So uh, digital technology have become a key driver of economic growth. So they have created a new industry, job, business model, what enhance the productivity and efficiency across uh, various sectors. Okay. Then uh, have the innovation. The digital economy fosters innovation by providing platform for entrepreneurs and business to, uh, businesses to develop and test new ideas quickly at a lower cost. So this has led to the um, creation of disruptive technology and services that has transformed industry and improved our quality of life. Okay, so this one for uh, innovation.
and then access to information and services. So uh, digital technology has a democratic access to information and uh, services, leveling the playing uh, field all for individual and businesses regardless of their location or size. Okay, so they has empowered consumer with more choices. We enable uh, businesses to reach new markets and uh, customer. The next uh, uh, the next is efficiency and convenience. So the digital economy has made uh, transaction and interaction more efficient and convenient from online shopping and banking to telecommuting and e-learning. So uh, the digital technology has streamlined uh, processes, uh, reduced costs and improved uh, the overall user uh, experience. And the last one, we have the societal impact. So the digital economy has a profound societal impact influencing how we communicate, uh, learn, work, and socialize. So it has also raised important issue related to privacy, uh, cyber security, uh, digital inclusion, and ethics. So, which require careful uh, consi uh, consideration and uh, regulation. So now, uh, the impact of digital economy on global, okay, uh, the first one uh, is about uh, GDP, employment and productivity, okay, so we want to look at uh, one by one uh, about the GDP, what is the impact of uh, digital economy on global in the GDP, okay, so uh, the first one is the contribution to GDP growth. Okay, so the digital economy uh, has become a significant driver of uh, economic growth worldwide. Okay, so the digital uh, technologies uh, enable businesses to reach new market, uh, improve efficiency, and innovate products and services to contribute to overall uh, GDP growth. Okay, then second, digital infrastructure investment. Okay. Uh, government and businesses are investing heavily in digital infrastructure, uh, including uh, broadband network, uh, that, uh, data center, and digital platform to support the expansion of the digital economy. So this investment uh, contribute to economic development and the competitiveness. And e-commerce and online transaction the rise of e-commerce and digital uh, transaction uh, has led to an increase in economy activity as consumer and business uh, conduct transaction online. So this includes online uh, retail sale, uh, digital services and business to business transaction created over the digital uh, platform. Okay, the second one uh, is the impact on the uh, employment. Okay, so uh, the impact, the first one is the creation of the new job. Okay, of course, the, uh, the digital economy has created new job opportunity in areas such as uh, software development, uh, data analytics, digital marketing, and cyber security. So this high skill job uh, requires specialized uh, digital skill and contribute to employment growth. Okay, second, tra uh, transformation of work. Okay, so the digital uh, technology has transformed the nature of work, uh, leading to a shift towards remote work, flexible arrangement, and the gig economy. Okay, so it has implication for employment pattern, uh, labor market, and the demand for digital skill. Okay, the last is the dis uh, displacement of traditional job why the digital uh, economy creates new job opportunity uh, 
uh, it also leads to the automation of routine tasks and the displacement of traditional job in sectors such as uh, uh, manufacturing, uh, retail, and services. So this require uh, workforce rescaling uh, and adaptation to new digital role. Okay. And the third one is the impact on productivity. Okay. The efficiency and automation. Uh, digital uh, technology improve productivity by, by streamlining business processes, uh, automating repetitive tasks, and enabling data driven decision making. So, uh, this lead to cost saving, higher output per worker, and improve operational uh, efficiency across industry. Okay, the second innovation and competitiveness. So, the digital economy foster innovation. Uh, by enabling company uh, to develop the new product, uh, services, and business model. So this drives uh, the competition and spur productivity growth as businesses strive uh, to innovate and differentiate themselves in the digital marketplace. Okay. And then uh, access to information and collaboration. So uh, the digital uh, technology facilitate uh, access to information, uh, communication and collaboration and enabling the employees to work more efficiently and effectively. Okay, so this in, uh, enhance productivity uh, by reducing the communication barriers, enabling real-time collaboration and facilitating a uh, knowledge sharing okay. so uh, this is the challenges of the digital economy that we have uh, we face the first one is the digital device okay and the second is the digital skill gap okay the rapid uh, Okay, digital skill gap, the rapid evolution of digital uh, technologies create a demand for new skill and competency in the workforce. Okay, uh, the third challenges of digital economy is the uh, digital disruption of traditional industry. So uh, the digital economy disrupt uh, traditional industry and business model leading to job displacement uh economic restructuring and social upheaval okay the next challenges okay the next challenges is about the data uh, the data privacy and security so uh for ensuring the privacy and security of this data is a significant challenge as the data is so cyber attack and the authorized use of personal information can undermine trust in digital services and harm individual and businesses. The, the next challenge is uh, regulatory and legal issue. Okay, the fast pace and uh, nature of technology innovation of 10 hour space regulatory framework leading to the legal uncertainty and challenges in areas such as uh, the data protection. And the last uh, is cyber security trick. Okay, so uh, cyber attack not only disrupt digital services but also pose risk to critical infrastructure, uh, financial system and national uh, security okay so this one is the uh, what we uh, the challenges of the uh, digital uh, economy So digital transformation, 
Okay, so uh, business and industry are undergoing significant digital transformation to leverage uh, emerging technologies such as we have the AI or artificial intelligence. Uh, we also have the IoT, Internet of Things, blockchains, cloud computing. So this technology offer a wide range of opportunity for improving efficiency uh, enhance the customer experience and driving innovation. However, uh, for adopting this uh, technology also present various challenges that business needs to address. Okay. Okay, so we want to look at one by one. The first one is about artificial intelligence or AI. Okay, so the opportunity for AI so AI enable uh, businesses to automate repetitive tasks, uh, improve uh, decision-making processes, and, uh, and uh, enhance customer service through chatbot and virtual assistant. Okay. So AI power predictive maintenance can uh, optimize uh, equipment uh, perform performance and reduce downtime in manufacturing and logistics. But uh, the AI have uh, several challenges. For example, like lack of skill of AI talent and expertise within organization can hinder successful implementation and utilization of AI uh, technology. And integration with uh, existing system and data infrastructure, uh, as well as concern about the data quality, privacy, and security. Okay, so this is the challenges uh, that we face uh, under the uh, artificial intelligence or AI. Okay, the second one is the Internet of Things or IoT. So the opportunity uh, for using the IoT is IoT devices and sensor enable businesses to collect the real-time data from physical asset, environment, and product, uh, facilitating insight into operational uh, efficiency and consumer behavior. Okay. Uh, smart connected devices can automate processes, uh, monitor equipment, performance and enable predictive uh, methane in industries such as uh, manufacturing, uh, logistics, and utility. But there are several uh, challenges you know, to adopt the IoT. Okay, the first one, okay. maybe the security. Well, Sorry. Okay, uh, the challenges is the security uh, vulnerability associated with IoT device, okay, including the data, privacy concern, and the risk of cyber attack targeting connected dividers. Okay, the, uh, the data management and analytic challenges, uh, including the value, uh, velocity and variety of IoT data generator and the need for advanced analytics to derive an uh, actionable uh, the insight. Okay, so uh, if we can see uh, now uh, the washing machine have used the AI and then we also have the uh, television also adopt the AI. Next, we have the blockchains, okay, the opportunity uh, for the blockchains. Technology offer the uh, decentralized and immutable ledger system that enhance uh, transparency, security, and trust in various business processes, such as uh, supply chain management, uh, digital transition and identity verification. So the smart contract enable uh, automate and temper proof execution of uh, contractual agreement, reducing the transaction cost and enhancing the efficiency. But there are several challenges. So uh, for using the blockchain, okay. 
And the first one uh, is about the adoption barriers related to interoperability between different blockchain uh, platform, user experience, and education about blockchain technology among the stockholder. And scalability issue with blockchain network, including uh, transaction through and latency uh, limitation uh, as well as energy consumption concern associated with proof of work consensus mechanism. Okay. Then the last one, we have the cloud computing. So the opportunity for cloud computing is offered scalable and flexible computing uh, resources enabling uh, the businesses uh, to reduce infrastructure costs, uh, improve agility, and deploy application and more rapidly. So, cloud-based uh, collaboration tool facilitate remote work, virtual team collaboration, and real-time access to data and application from any location. So the challenges is uh, the, da the data privacy and security concern related to storing sensitive data in the cloud, including uh, compliance with data protection regulation, ensuring the data accretion and access control. Next, we have the knowledge uh, base economy. Okay, a knowledge uh, based economy is an uh, economy system where knowledge, information, and innovation are the primary driver of growth and productivity. Okay, so in this type of economy, the production and use of knowledge and information play a crucial role in creating wealth in, in, and improving the living standard. So there are several characteristics of knowledge-based economy. Okay, so the first one, we have the emphasis on education and skill. So education and continuous learning are prioritized to develop a skilled workforce capable of uh, generating, sharing, and utilizing knowledge efficiently. Okay. So uh, the second one, we have the innovation and research and development, uh, or R&D. So the investment in R&D and the innovation is uh, uh, critical for developing new technologies, uh, product, and processes that drive the economic growth and competitiveness. Then the third one, we have the information and communication technology or ICT. So ICT infrastructure and digital technologies are progressive, facilitating the creation uh, dissemination and utilization of knowledge across a various sector. Okay, in the fourth one, we have the entrepreneurship and knowledge entrepreneurship. So, this is a focus on uh, fostering entrepreneurship and creating an environment conducive to knowledge intensive setup and businesses. Then we have the intellectual property uh, protection. The strong intellectual property right and mechanism for protecting innovation, incentive investment in research and development, and ensure that innovators can benefit from their creation. Then we have the globalization and knowledge for, uh, flow. So uh, the knowledge-based economy are interconnected globally benefiting from the exchange of uh, ideal uh, talent and technology across the border. Then we have the service and uh, service and knowledge intensive industry. Okay, knowledge based uh, economy often see a shift towards service and knowledge uh, intensive industry such as uh, information uh, technology, uh, finance, uh, healthcare, 
uh, education and creative industry. Okay. Uh, the last one is the collaboration and network. The collaboration uh, between the academia, industry and government uh, is uh, essential for fostering a culture of innovation and knowledge sharing. So the network and cluster of firm and institution of the emerge to facilitate the collaboration and knowledge as chain. So the knowledge-based economy is the knowledge and technology has become increasing complex. Uh, knowledge workers are always more creative and innovative. And emerging of knowledge has become the central phenomenon of growth uh, of a country where uh, ICT turned out to be essential, uh, enabling tools, okay? This is the comparison uh, between the traditional and the digital economy. So you can see uh, the traditional economy is the factory, but now uh, we, we have the digital economy more to the data center or uh, we use the cloud uh, computing. And then traditional economy, we have the high street shop, uh, digital economy more to internet website, anything we can uh, do or serve in the uh, website okay uh, based on the traditional economy uh, we use the newspaper as uh, word of mouth but now we have the social media review okay everything if you want to get a news you can go to the social media and then transportation is still digital download okay uh, for traditional um, based on the bank and cash point and now we have the e-banking, okay. Uh, for traditional, based on the school textbook, but now we move to the e-learning e-books, okay. Uh, so you can access the book by e-book, okay. Uh, so nine to five common, and working from home, you can do uh, your, your work at your home, okay, physical asset, this one is a Google ranking or brand image. Uh, this one based on the construction, website development, real estate, the domain ownership, okay, cash or check payment. Now we have the e-payment or cashless society. Uh, uh, in the traditional economy based on the labor and capital. But now for the digital economy, we have the automation and AI or artificial intelligence. Okay. So now uh, we go to the effects of uh, digital economy. Okay, the first one is about uh, big data. Okay, uh, in a digital economy, the big data provide businesses, uh, government and organization with valuable insight into consumer behavior, uh, market trends and operational if you can see, so this data driver approach enable uh, more informed decision making and target strategy. Okay, so big data allow businesses to personalize product, uh, services, and experience based on individual preference and behavior. So uh, this lead to improve customer satisfaction, higher engagement, and increase loyalty. So the big data fuel innovation by providing uh, the foundation for the development of uh, new product, uh, services, uh, and business model. <clears throat> the second one is the uh, interconnectedness. Okay, in a digital economy, people are connected on a global scale through the internet and social media platform. So, uh, this interconnect, uh, enable instant communication, uh, collaboration, 
and information sharing across uh, geographical boundary, for example, like Malaysia and Indonesia, so we can communicate or collaborate okay, to share the knowledge. So uh, interconnect uh, facilitate access to global market for businesses of all sizes. Small business can uh, small businesses can reach uh, the international customer through e-commerce platform, while freelancer can offer their services to clients uh, worldwide. Okay, so the interconnected foster knowledge sharing and collaboration among uh, individual businesses and institutions. So the online communities, uh, forum and social network enable to uh, the exchange of idea, uh, expertise and best practices. Okay. The third one, we have the time value. So in a digital economy, the value of time is heightening. Uh, as digital technology enable faster uh, and more efficient processes, tasks that previously took hour or day can now uh, be completed uh, in minutes or seconds, leading to increased uh, productivity and reduced time to market. So the digital technology offer convenient by automating routine tasks uh, providing on-demand services and enabling remote work and uh, flexible schedule. So, so this allows uh, individuals to manage their time more effectively and balance work and personal uh, responsibility. And then we have the digital government functioning, the impact. Uh, so, uh, Digital government uh, functioning improve efficiency and transparency in public administration by digitalizing uh, processes, automatic workflow, uh, and providing online services to uh, citizens. So uh, this enhance government responsiveness and uh, accountability. Okay, so the digital government initiative promotes citizen and engage, uh, engagement and partic uh, participation by providing platform for uh, feedback, uh, collaboration, and interaction with government agency. So uh, this strengthen trust and communication between government and citizen. Then we look at on the disadvantages of digital economy. Okay, uh, so there are several disadvantages of digital economy. Uh, the first one is the uh, monopoly power. Okay, uh, the large digital platform can gain significant market power and establish monopolies or oligopolies, uh, limiting competition and potentially harms the consumer. So this uh, concentration uh, of power can save the innovation, suppress smaller competitors and result in higher prices or lower quality services for consumer. And the second one, loss of community. So uh, the digital economy has the potential to uh, reduce face-to-face -face interaction and we can community time as people increasingly engage in online interaction rather than in-person socializing. Uh, so this shift uh, may lead to feeling of isolation, lonely and a decline in the community cohesion. Okay, employment disruption, automation and digitalization can lead uh, to job replacement and shift in employment pattern, uh, particularly in industry, uh, to automation such as manufacturing, uh, retail and transportation. So worker may face uh, challenges in adapting to a new job role or may experience unemployment underemployment and income insecurity okay and the next uh, disadvantages of digital economy is disruption pattern okay so uh, the digital economy is categorized by rapid technological advancement 
and disruptive innovation leading to unpredictable market dynamic and business model. So the traditional businesses may struggle to adapt uh, to digital disruption leading to industry, uh, business closure, and economic instability. Okay, the last one is the social media and graphic content. Uh, social media platform can facilitate the spread of graphic content, including uh, violent or inappropriate material which may be harmful to users or particularly children and vulnerable uh, individuals. So its exposure to graphic content can have the negative uh, psychological effect okay, and contribute to the uh, suicide, the issue and society, the cyber bully and online uh, harassment. Okay. <laughs> then we have the education and digital economy. So education and, and digital economy. So the digital economy gives uh, a student uh, invaluable digital to know how to take with them when job hunting or networking. Okay. Uh, the second one, the billions of online connection uh, made between university and student make the connection between the education and the digital uh, economy probably uh, powerful. Uh, so the digital economy was is what makes uh, it an essential part of education. Okay, and then one of the most essential strategy regarding uh, education and the digital economy is information and communication technology or ICT. Then we have the education and digital economy. Digitalization in education refer uh, to the use uh, of desktop computer, mobile device, the internet, software, application, and other type of digital technology to teach students of all age. Okay. Uh, the digitalization has transformed education system radically uh, in classroom and outside classroom. So this one is the relationship between the education and digital economy. <clears throat> so in classroom, uh, the capacity of teacher develop using high quality digital content and innovative model. So the digitalization open up education to people who would be able to effort or access it otherwise. And the world of education and learning system are critically important for innovation through the development or skill that uh, nurture new ideas and uh, technology. So uh, the next is how e uh, education, uh, want to say how education intersect with the digital economy. So there are several. Uh, aspect how education uh, intersect with the uh, digital economy. The first one is the uh, access to education. Okay, so uh, digital technology has made education more accessible to individuals worldwide. Okay, online courses, uh, virtual classroom and digital learning platform offer the opportunity for people to access educational resources and participate 
in uh, learning experience regardless to their location or socioeconomic status. Okay, the second one is the personalized learning. <coughs> Uh, the digital tool and enable personalized uh, learning experience tailor to individual student needs, preferences, and learning style. So the additive learning platform, uh, intelligent tutoring system, and the educational uh, apps can provide target instruction, immediate uh, feedback, and customer learning pathway okay enhancing the student engage, uh, engagement and outcome and then we have the global collaboration so uh the digital economy facility the global uh, collaboration and knowledge sharing among the student educator and researcher so the online forum uh, video conferencing and collaborative platform enable cross culture as chains, uh, joint project and interdisciplinary collaboration, uh, and the uh, experience and for uh, fostering a global uh, perspective. Okay, then we have the skill development. Digital technology play a crucial role in including uh, students with the skill needed for success in the uh, digital economy. So educational uh, program focus on digital literacy, coding, uh, data analysis, and technology integration prepare students for career in emerging field and equip them with the skill necessary to navigate an increasingly digital world. Okay, and then uh, the next is the lifelong learning. In the digital economy, learning uh, is no longer confined to traditional classroom setting or formal education uh, institution, but lifelong learning has become uh, essential for staying competitive in the job market and adapting to rapid technological advancement. So the online courses are uh, success on micro credential and self-paced learning resources uh, enable individuals to acquire new skills and knowledge throughout their life. Okay. And the last is the data-driven education. So, uh, the digital technology uh, generate vast amount uh, of data related to student performance, engagement, and learning outcome. Okay, the, so the data analytics and learning analytics tools uh, enable educators to gain insight into student progress and then identify areas for improvement and personalize instruction uh, based on the data driving assessment, fostering co uh, continuous uh, improvement in teaching and learning practices. So uh, the next is uh, digital skill and education okay the first one is the integration of technology okay so uh digital skills are essential for educator to uh effectively integrate technology into uh teaching practices okay so this include using digital tool uh, for lesson planning interactive presentation multimedia resources and online assessment okay so the second is the personalized learning so uh, the digital skill enable uh, educator to implement uh, personalized learning experiences for students through adaptive learning platform, uh, educational apps, and online resources tailored to individual learning style and needs. Okay. And then the third one is the remote learning. Uh, 
the COVID-19 pandemic, so during the COVID-19 pandemic, accelerate the adoption of digital tool for remote learning. So educator with strong digital skill will better equip uh, to transition to online teaching. Okay, utilizing a uh, video conference, uh, learning uh, management system and collaboration tool to facilitate uh, the virtual uh, classroom. Okay, and the last is the digital literacy education. Okay, so digital skill also encompass digital uh, literacy, which is uh, the ability to critically evaluate, navigate, and create digital content. So the educator play a, a crucial role in teaching students how to uh, effectively use digital technology while promoting a responsible uh, digital uh, citizen. So there are pros and cons of the digital economy. So the pro of the digital economy, the first one is digital technologies streamline uh, processes, uh, automate tasks and enable real-time data analysis leading to increased operational uh, efficiency and productivity across industry. And the digital economy allows businesses to reach a global audience, breaking down uh, geographical barriers and enabling international trade and collaboration. Uh, so digital technology foster innovation and creativity by enabling the development of new product, uh, services and business model. Seta and entrepreneur can leverage digital platform to launch the innovative venture and disrupt uh, the traditional industry. Uh, and so the digital economy offer convenience and accessibility to consumer who can access a wide range of products, services, and information online from anywhere uh, at any time. Okay, and uh, the pro of the digital economy so create a new job opportunity in areas such as software development, uh, data analytics, digital marketing, and e-commerce uh, that contribute to the employment growth and economic developments. Okay, so this is the, the pro of the uh, digital uh, economy. Okay, next we have the cons of the digital economy. Uh, okay, when we have the pro, of course we have the cons of the digital economy. So the digital economy uh as a way uh inequality and creates a digital device between those who have the digital technology and those who do not. So this can widen existing socioeconomic disparity and limit opportunity for a marginalized community. Uh, so the digital economy has posed uh, businesses and individuals to cybersecurity risks uh, such as uh, data breach, uh, cyber attack and identity theft, okay? protecting uh, sensitive data and ensuring cybersecurity remain significant challenges in the digital digital era <clears throat> and automation and digitalization can lead to job displacement as routine tasks become automated and certain job roles become obsolete. so this can result in uh, unemployment and economic uncertainty for worker in affected industry so uh, the digital economy is concerned about the privacy data protection as business uh, collect and analyze a vast amount of personal data for various purposes. Okay, so the data breach and uh, misses uh, of personal information can erode consumer trust and lead to regulatory scrutiny. Okay.
And the last is regulating the digital economy present challenges uh, for policy maker as technology advancement auspice existing regulatory framework. Okay, so the balancing innovation and consumer uh, protection why uh, <clears throat> addressing issues is that antitrust uh, task and intellectual property right require uh, the careful consideration. Okay. Okay, I think that's all from me uh, to discuss with all of you about the digital economy in new era. <clears throat> Okay, thank you so much for presentation, Dr. Noor. Uh, for our participant, if you have any question for the speaker, please add them to the chat or you can raise your hand. Okay, for first question, we have a question from Ms. Dia Rahmi. Uh, Ms. Novita, can you give me uh, two minutes? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay, read it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Ms. Novita, can you hear me? Okay, Miss Novita, you can continue. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, from the question from Miss Diarami, how to create and also collaborate between the business on the digital marketing method with the local wisdom of community community on trade, also promoting their product on village. Thank you. Uh, the question already read in the room chat also. Okay, how to yeah. okay. between the business on the digital marketing method to the some of community on trade as of marketing the product on village. Okay, uh to create an effective digital marketing strategy that uh incorporate a local community wise collaboration between the business and the community is essential. For, uh, for example, the community engagement uh, start by engage with the local community to understand their tradition 
value uh, and preferences regarding trade and product promotion. So this could involve uh, conducting survey, hosting focus, uh, focus group, or simply having uh, the conversation with community member. Uh, also, uh, work together with the community to identify common goal for promoting uh, local product and enhance the trade between the village. So this could uh, include increasing uh, visibility, improving sale or per, uh, preserving uh, traditional uh, practice. Okay, and also provide the digital marketing training session for community members to empower them with the skill and knowledge needed to participate in online promotion effort. So this uh, could include a shop on social media marketing, uh, content creation, and e-commerce uh, platform. Okay. okay, thank you for answering. And then Mister from Mr. Amin Tohari, is it okay if using Bahasa? Okay. Yeah. Uh, ekonomi digital sudah berlangsung di dunia ini berunding sebagai hebat berasing yang paham ekonomi digital. So. Ya, injek itu apa ya maksudnya? Uh, ya, mungkin untuk Mr. Amin Tohari bisa unmute untuk dijelaskan questionnya. Uh, digital itu inje inje itu maksudnya apa inje saya, uh, saya kurang ngerti inje itu apa maksudnya oh ya yeah. <laughs> oh ya yeah. ya yeah. <laughs> oke okay. so apa yang bisa membentuk karakteristik ekonomi digital itu. So kalau kita tengok dalam dunia, so saya jawabnya dalam bahasa juga lah. Yeah. Okay, so so dalam uh, era yang sekarang ni kebanyakan kita dah menggunakan uh, kepada uh, digital. Okay, uh, so kalau uh, kalau kita tengok uh, kalau kita mau masak makanan pun kita sudah ada uh, grab food kan? Kalau di Malaysia grab food, dia ada panda, okay. So, dia memudahkan lagi lah untuk kita uh, membuat pesanan. So, kita tak perlu keluar. Uh, jadi, kita boleh order saja pesanan dan kemudian kita terus dapat makanan tersebut. Okay. Uh, jadi, itu yang penting. Kemudiannya, kalau kita pergi ke mana-mana tempat, uh, Mungkin kita tak bawa wang, kita takut berlakunya kecurian dan kita boleh membuat uh, pembayaran secara online sahaja atau transform uh, transfer okay. menggunakan aplikasi yang yang terkini lah uh, contohnya uh, e-wallet okay. yang contohnya di Malaysia lah yang kita gunakan ada uh, e-wallet okay. Harap dapat menjawab uh, kepada soalan tersebut. Ya, sama-sama. Okay. Uh, I think we don't have no more question again from all participant. Yeah, thank you so much for Dr. Noor. Before I close this event for all participant, please open your camera. I will take a picture on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, another one. One, two, three. Smile. Thank you. Thank you for your clinical cooperation. Okay. Finally, yeah. Okay. Okay, finally, we come to the end of this thing like today. We would like to thank you for Dr. Noor for the wonderful information and sharing your relate. We hope this information will be beneficial for all participants. At least we hope to have more cooperation collaboration in the future the visiting lecture for today and here we have to see you soon thank you and have a nice day thank you so much for okay, thank, you. thank you so much have a nice, yeah, have a nice bye day bye bye
دي فارق دي فارق شمت شمت ماليزيا